Well, hello. Welcome to a priori story time list. I'm here with Paco and Paco. And we're going to be reading a story. It's a true story. What's this about Mulan? What's that? Well, I know that her real name is Hua Mulan. Well, that's a fair idea. We should give it the full respect. I know everybody just says Mulan. Hua Mulan. Okay, good. All right, well, we'll start the story with that. Oh, no, I know that Hua is flower, but thank you very much. What? Oh, Hua Mulan means flowering tree. What? Flowering tree, fragrant throughout. Thank you. That's very good. Hua Mulan. Okay, we'll read it. What's that? What's that Hua Mulan? It's Hua Mulan. Okay, well, I appreciate the diacriticals. These are the diacritics here, apparently. We'll do our best. <clears throat> Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived a girl in ancient China named Hua Mulan. Hua Mulan's father was a retired general. He had come home sick and frail. He was too old to fight, but not too old to teach Hua Mulan how to ride a horse and use a sword. Girls usually did not learn these skills, but Hua Mulan's father believed everyone should know how to fight, even girls. One day, the government officials sent warriors to Hua Mulan's village. War was coming. Men were needed for the army. The military leader of the group posted a list of names in the village square. Each name represented one volunteer, one man from each family. Hua Mulan saw her father's name on the list. She knew her father would never survive another battle. Hua Mulan's brother was a young child. There was only Hua Mulan who could take her father's place. But the military did not take girls as replacements for fighting men. Quietly, the next morning before her father could report for duty, Hua Mulan stole his armor. She disguised herself as a man. She reported for duty. The warriors accepted him in her father's place. Later that day, as all the men taken from the village marched away, Hua Mulan saw her father standing by the side of the road, shaking his head in confusion. He had reported for duty, but was told he was not needed. That made no sense to the general. He had not yet returned home. He did not know that Hua Mulan was even missing. Hua Mulan was very careful over the years. No one ever suspected she was a girl. When the war was over, Hua Mulan received a special award from the emperor himself for her outstanding courage. The emperor gave her a horse and a bag full of wealth and wished her a safe trip home. <coughs> her family greeted her with joy. Her brother was delighted with the gift of her military clothes that she gave him. He dressed in them immediately. Hua Mulan dressed once again in the clothes of a woman. That evening, Hua Mulan and her family gathered together to watch the sunset. Hmm. A few days later, two of the men who had served with Hua Mulan stopped by her home on the way home, on their own way home. When Hua Mulan came forth to greet them, they could not believe their eyes. One of them shouted, you are not Hua Mulan. What have you done with our friend? After recounting many memories, they finally believed that Hua Mulan was a woman who had fought by their side in many a battle. They spread Mulan's story across China. Mulan's story inspired many young women who demanded to learn how to ride a horse and use a sword just like Hua Mulan. What's that? 
Well, no, I didn't realize that they named a part of Venus after Mulan. What's oh, Hua Mulan? What's that? Hua Mulan. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Paco. Thank you, Paco.